Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. Today we are going to do a half tone portrait of a uh, image of a pet. It can be a cat, dog or any other pet you have. And this video is the first in a series of pet portraits that I'll be doing and I'll be doing different kind of pet portraits like the one half tone you see right now, then normal paper cut portrait, layered portrait, string portrait and so on. So I'll be doing very uh, variety of uh, portraits for your pets. And there are some subtle differences between how you approach a template creation and the construction of a portrait for a pet image rather than uh, instead of a human image. So uh, we'll be discussing all that. So guys, let's get started. So uh, this is the template that I have created and in the subsequent video in this pet portrait series will be how to create a half tone template for your pet image. And as you can see, just by looking at the video, you can clearly recognize the face of the pet, the eyes are visible, the nose is visible and all the features are visible, right? But even even then you can see that this template is very easy. Why I say very easy because there is enough gap between the uh, the black and the white area so that it's easy to cut. Uh, for now, I have taken a normal uh, paper printout, which is your regular A4 copy paper, but you can uh, choose to take printout on a thicker paper also. As you can see that there is already a border here since this was a square. So it's in the center of it. So there will be some border here also and some border here also. Now in this portrait, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the black area. So all the black lines I have to remove. But because pets have a lot of uh, hair, all pets have hair, right? They, their facial features are not as clean as that of a human. So what we have to take care while doing the paper cutting is that we have to ensure that we follow all the twists and turns in the line as it is just be, as you can see it's not a straight line so we are not going to cut it in a straight line we are going to cut it in the exact same uh, line format as it is in the template only then you are going to get a correct output so guys uh, let's get started and uh, since i'm doing a half tone portrait after a very long time so i'll be talking about uh, different aspects and things ne that you need to take care of also. So as you can see that the black lines are restricted by the border. One of the key things that I practice while doing a half tone portrait is that first and foremost, I cut the lines like this, but at the same time, I do not, I will not cut on the borders because if I start removing the strips, the paper will become very unstable. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to cut these lines till I reach the end here. And then I will start cutting in this direction, this direction, this direction. So guys, uh, let me reach here. Then I will show you much closer that how you, how you slowly, slowly take care of the different twists and turns in the black lines. Sorry, I forgot to mention the knife that I'm using is Olfa paper cutting knife. And I'm using a shorter blade for this because you have to have a very uh, precise control on the cutting. So if you are okay with the A11 blade, you can use the A11 blade also, but I would suggest using a shorter blade. And if you are using a thicker paper, then definitely use a shorter blade. Also, one more thing that you should take care of while cutting these lines is that uh, if you are a righty, then cutting the right side first and left side for, and then left side will cause problems. Let me show you what I mean. So let me cut. So I'm done till here. So let me cut this line. As you can see, because I'm righty, the, uh, the stress on the paper is on the right hand side. So the parts that are already cut are getting stretched unnecessarily. And if I'll start cutting this line, you see the paper gets twisted and folded and it uh, reduces your speed of cutting unnecessarily. So what you need to do that if you're a righty is that you should always move your cutting from left to right, never from right to left. If you're a lefty, you should move your cutting from uh, right to left. It's just opposite, right? So, so I will start from this side and you will see that there will be little stress. As you can see, it's quite easy. There will be no stress on the paper because the entire paper is intact here. So when you do a half tone, uh, keeping these small, small things makes the uh, cutting quite easy 
uh, these are small small tricks if you follow it becomes very easy to complete a half tone portrait and because of this black and white lines it's very easy to uh, get cross eyed while you are cutting if it if it happens so then please take a pause and uh, wait until you are able to see it properly again so while i was talking i have done four lines here and as you can see now that i am going into the very uh, rough lines they are not straight lines so let me do a close up and uh, then we will cut again so we are almost uh, done till here as you can see that paper is become really fragile now so you have to be very careful while moving the paper and this is one of the challenges in uh, doing half tone portrait is that it is very difficult to move around paper because chances of uh, tearing off the portion that you have done are very high so for that the technique that you need to use to do all these turns you can see all these uh, different ins and outs the rough uh, edges of the line so how do we achieve that so look at the look at the blade carefully how i am moving it right so now there is a in here right so i am just going to twist my blade to the right then twist back again to the left and then wherever there is a twist in twist out you can see it's that i'm just twisting my blade i'm not rotating my paper normally i recommend to rotate the paper but in case of half tone portrait it is uh, not advisable because the paper becomes very fragile so all you need to do is to twist your twist and turn your blade like this and you can easily cut those rough edges So I'll show one more time. Just follow the follow the way I'm uh, twisting and uh, you know uh, turning my blade rather than twisting my hand. I'm just using my thumb and index finger to twist the blade like this. this is a tricky one right so this 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 right so watch how i'm twisting and with this technique you are able to achieve micro twist easily so that will prevent you from moving your page again and again So now, now I'm almost uh, three four done. So I just wanted to talk about few more points. For example, now you can see that these white lines are very thin as compared to here. The the distance between the white, the thickness of white lines is decent enough. But in this portion here, the thickness of white lines is very less. So what to do when you come across those kind of lines in half tone? So the only trick to do it is that you have to be very very careful and slow. what happens is that when you are cutting with the knife when you are dragging your knife on the paper it stretches your paper so paper has some elasticity so at times the dimension the length of your paper will increase the length of the strip will increase and if that will happen this is what is going to happen your strips are going to come up because they get as folded like this right so to avoid that when you are doing the cutting when you reach the thin portions like here you go very slow and you keep your thumb very near to your knife so that you prevent basically uh, you prevent the paper from stretching if you when you reach the thicker uh, areas of the strip it's fine you can 
uh, do it quickly and you can remove your uh, thumb but for the thinner areas it's important that you uh, maintain the pressure from the finger or the thumb so i have cut this line so this black this black strip is done now when i'll cut on this edge this white strip is going to come out and that's when i have to be even more careful because now you are separating that thin white strip from the rest of the paper so watch carefully that as i approach uh, as, I, as i approach the thinner portion my speed slows down drastically and this is a technique that is not just applicable to half tone paper cut portrait it is applicable to all kind of paper cutting when you are doing paper cutting and you are working on thinner areas areas which you want to retain not discard if you want to discard something it's okay you can you know go fast enough but if you want to retain those areas like in this case we want to retain the white portions so in that case you have to be careful and slow so this technique helps in that the slower you cut the lesser strain on the paper will be and the chances of uh, increment in the length of the paper will be less another thing that you can do is that you can use a thicker paper now this is extremely thin paper hardly 75 gsm but if you use a 120 gsm paper or or 170 gsm paper which is the recommended uh, paper thickness for half tone portrait then it's better in that case the strips will not bend like this like they are bending in uh, this uh, thickness of paper So we are almost done now we are at the last few lines so let's cut those quickly and then we will work on removing the strips from this paper if you are not able to do it in one sitting you can always take a break uh, i did not take a break my fingers are actually aching right now but i just want to finish it since i'm so near to completing it and this is the last line and now we'll start removing the strip so what we are going to do is first we are going to cut the corners from this side and this side and this side and then we will cut from this side and this side so that we can remove the strips so when you are doing this cutting please be very careful that you do not accidentally cut on the white and make sure that the strips are coming off if they are not that means that there is some portion that is not cut on the corner okay so you have to be uh, very uh, sure that the strips are coming off you can just gently pull from your knife to see if it is coming out or not do not hurry at this step do it carefully because in haste we often cut the areas which you are not supposed to cut for example cutting on the white lines now this is a pretty simple template because on all the edges there is sufficient white gap so we know exactly where to cut but in complex templates it it happens quite a lot of times that the uh, white area is very very small and we accidentally cut it that's one side done now we'll do the other side and now we will remove these two sides
Okay guys, so here we are. You can already see the image of the cat coming out e after the half tone cut. Even though because of the low thickness of the paper, some of the strips are coming up as their length has increased due to the stress of the paper cut, but still you can see the image. Now, I will mount this against a black background. So I have this uh, black paper. Actually, I should have used this thickness for the half tone, but uh, I've I have kind of exhausted the thick white paper that I have so I need to buy more anyway so if once you put it against the black background you can see the image of my darling pet cat coming out so guys that's how we do half tone uh, portrait and some of the extra precautions uh, that we need to take uh, during the creation of such a portrait I already discussed during the uh, starting point of the video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys liked it then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends also do subscribe to my channel for more videos on different different forms of arts and i will see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay safe take care and bye bye